What's up, all you beautiful? Just sexy people out there. Welcome to Thank God It's Friday, a casual series in which I talk about anything, where I talk about everything. I talk about stuff you don't really care about, but I'm gonna talk about it anyways because that's how I roll. Now, before we get into Thank God It's Friday, let's talk a little bit about the gameplay. In this gameplay, I got some Battlefield 4 for you guys. Some rush on the vanilla maps, a few good kill streaks in there, stuff for you to enjoy while I talk about my subject for today. And today's subject is concerts, guys. What to do at concerts and my own personal funny stories from concerts. So before we get into that, let's hop into a little bit about my background and ways that I've had these experiences. So basically, guys, when I was 18, I decided I needed a job. Not just any old job, not just something to where I work at retail or in the fast food in industry because I didn't want that. That just seemed too boring for me. So guys, I decided that I wanted to work at event security i want to be a security guard so i decided to go out get a job as event security and my brother had already worked there so it was basically i was guaranteed i was a luck to get a job so this job is going to be something for experiences i wasn't going to make a lot of money it was just going to be in the summer and i was just going to have fun with it i was going to have a lot of good times so basically guys when you're going to a concert, I'm going to hop in and tell a little bit about the do's and don'ts. Stuff you should not do and stuff you should do when you're going to a concert. First off, if you're going to a concert, don't. And I repeat, do not get hammered before you're going to the concert. Don't get sloshed. Don't get smashed. Don't get shit-faced, guys. Don't do it because we're going to find you. We're going to hunt you down. And we're probably going to kick you out if we can detect it. If you're sloshed. If you're just hammered off your feet and you cannot stand, you're just wobbling back and forth while you're running around at that concert, you, you're going to get thrown out. And that's how it works. Another don't, and unfortunately for us fellows, we kind of like this one. Girls, if you're going to a concert, do not dress slutty. Do not. If you're going to be crowd surfing, you do not want to do that. And I repeat, you do not want to do that. Basically, because if you're dressed slutty, slutty and you're wearing a skirt, you're wearing tight clothing, and you're crowd surfing, you are going to get felt up in ways you've never experienced before. You're going to be touched in places you've never felt. So don't do it. Don't dress slutty. And of course, there's always a simple rule of don't be a D-bag. Guys, don't be a D-bag. Because if you're a D-bag to a security guard, more than likely, they're going to abuse their power and they're going to throw you out. So let's talk a little bit about the dues. Do bring water because it's crazy hot in there. You're in a crowd full of sweaty men. You're in a crowd full of hot, fat, sweaty dudes. It's going to be like 90 degrees above the actual temperature. So don't, don't forget to bring water. You're going to need that, which basically means just appropriately be prepared for any circumstance that happens. And of course, yeah, you, you got to dress right. I can't repeat that too much, but you got to dress right. So let's talk a little bit about my stories, the stuff you're anxious for, the fun stuff. So one concert in particular, I work every year. It's a rock concert. It has a bunch of big bands. I've seen Three Days Grace. I've seen Rob Zombie. I've seen Marilyn Manson, Shine Down, Five Finger Death Punch, all of those concerts in one or in three days. And that is insane, guys. So basically my job at these concert or at this concert in particular is to catch crowd surfers. But before we get into that, let's talk a little bit about my first time working this concert. So, you know, I'm sitting there. I think it's going to go great. I'm all dressed up. I'm wearing some black khaki shorts to keep cool, to have a little bit of fun in that. You know, I'm going up. I'm catching people. I'm bringing them down. I'm doing my job right. So basically, the first time I work concert, and this is how I know, the night's going to be rough, and it's going to be terrible, and I'm just going to have a horrible time. But it's, gonna, it's still going to be fun, of course, or I wouldn't do it. Basically, I go up to catch my first crowd surfer. I'm reaching up. I'm trying to pull out there, pull them down. I'm pulling, trying to pull them out of the crowd. And I hear a rip. I'm like, oh, crap. I look down. And in between my legs, there's a giant hole. And I'm like, oh, my God. There's so many people in front of me. Oh, my God. So, basically, my supervisor comes over. He duct tapes me up, and I get back out there like a true champion. <laughs> so, I'm running. I'm running around, basically. I have duct tape around my leg, and I'm trying to pull people out of the crowd, trying to catch them before they can do anything and get themselves hurt. And I'm doing that all with duct tape around my leg. So, and then, basically, a few, a little bit later, I decided, all right, now I'm going to go to the car, my car and get some actual shorts so I can be fine. And then I get back, 
and the worst thing ever happens to me. And this is all on the first night, guys. The first night! So I'm there, and I'm going up to catch a dude. Now this dude's like probably six foot, six foot two, uh, Indian dude, or um, basically that complexion, in order not to be racist, but it's that complexion basically. Long black hair, and he's coming at me feet first, guys. Feet first. So he's coming at me feet first, and I'm like, all right. So I'm going up there, I'm trying to pull him down. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to handle this situation. And I feel violated with what happened next. I look up and this dude literally wraps his legs around my head and I have this dude's crotch in my face. That's right, I was violated and it was horrible. So basically, I'm sitting there having this dude like power bombed in order to catch him and his jock is right in my face. It was the worst experience ever. Oh my God. And so then, this isn't just the only thing that happened that night. This is all in one night, I remind you, all in one night. So I'm like, all right, I got that dude's sweaty jock out of my like, face. I got that image out of my mind temporarily, but it will come to haunt me in my dreams forever. So there, I'm there and I'm looking at my buddy. I'm like, all right, dude, we got this. We're ready, we're pumped, we're excited. I look up into the sea of people. I'm checking out my assignment, who I'm gonna get next. And all of a sudden I see a row of the worst experience of my life. I thought the jock was the worst thing, but it wasn't, guys. It wasn't. I look up, and there's like five to six sweaty, shirtless dudes coming at me. And I, I promise you guys, I have literally never seen my life flash before my eyes until that moment. I stared death into the face, and I almost conquered it. But I was catching fatties left and right, and I'm a big dude myself. I'm a fatty myself, and that was traumatizing. And I just was left breathless, confused, with a face full of sweat, sweaty blob, sweaty armpit in my face. And I was just traumatizing, guys. I don't know what else to say. I'm, I'm scared for my life. It still haunts my dreams every day. And so that was the first night. That summed up the first night. And it was, it was fun, even though I had some horrible experiences with big dudes and crotch in my face and my pants ripping and all that stuff. But it was still glorious, a fun concert. So we're going into the second night, because it's a three day event. The second night, you know something's gonna happen, and this is one of the don'ts, guys. This dude was sloshed. He was completely drunk before the concert even started. He was hammered off, just, he was just hammered, guys. So basically, the concert just started, he's crowd serving, he gets up in front of us, and he's going back into the crowd. He decides he's so drunk, he's going to throw a bottle back into the crowd right in front of a police officer. You moron. How could you do that? Right in front of a cop, nonetheless. So then, and continuing the second day, I saw Marilyn Manson that night and Rob Zombie, which by far are the craziest concerts ever. You got people flying across your face when you're a security guard. People are everywhere. You're going up. You're pulling one person down. You got to go back up to catch another fatty right there. And it's just horrible working that. It was still fun though, of course, or I wouldn't do it. So we're there and I'm catching people. And this was earlier in the day before Zombie and Manson came on. And I'm there and I'm looking out into the crowd and there's this really large, maybe like thick just thick girl and I don't have a problem with thick girls of course but basically this girl was topless I'm like okay whatever I'm just trying to do my job and this girl decides she's gonna crowd surf and she's a big girl shirtless so basically I'm there and I have to you know catch her it's my job I can't just let her fall I wish I could but I can't so I go up and I'm going to catch her and all of a sudden I get giant boob in my face normally I won't complain but this was larger older lady booby in my face guys there's a lot of things that just happened to get in my face in this jeez i didn't realize that so anyways this chick's breast this is, is in my face and i'm just scared for my life and she leans her head back she waves her arms and flays them around like she's having a good old time or all the while her boobs in my face i'm just like about to drop her like lady seriously get out of here i don't want this anymore i've already been traumatized enough i've already been violated so guys, that's a little bit about my concert experiences. I have a little bit more. I, of course I do. I've worked it for the past like three years, guys. If you ever want to hear about my concert experiences, just ask me. Just hit me up on Twitter. I may even make another video about them. 
so just hit me up just ask and i'm about to die here as i just end the kill streak thanks guys for watching thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video go ahead and fill up that subscribe button that's right get a good grasp of it feel it rub it do something to it give it some love and as always stay frosty